So the U.S. Open was this weekend. Tom hit a little bit more mellowed out. So the U.S. Open was this weekend. So the U.S. Open was this weekend, guys. You guys watch? Thank God that fucking South African mouse prick didn't win. I was pulling for him. He's not, a, he's not a prick, but the Tell little mousey really didn't fail. Win. I like him. I like Louis. I he don't have anything choked. against him. I just. I think he's boring. I wanted to see like a playoff. That's why I was cheering. What? For him. Okay. He he deserves to get at least one of his knee caps broken by laying up on 18, thinking he has a better <laughs> yeah, that shot. Was, I don't think that was of like, the chip in compared to like making no, it. No, like from the fairway, then just like going for it. At worst, you make bogey. On 18, you're talking yeah. about John Rahm or Louis? Louis. Well, he had to make eagle to, to push to a play. I understand. Yeah, that. so he should have like, went for the green. Yeah, he should have went for the green. Thinking, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to. Yeah, if I can yeah. get it, you know, from the fairway, but it's just I I don't understand. So I that even drive like his... on seventeen, that's the one that Bryson's bounced over on Saturday, and Louis hit it and it bounced in on Sunday. That same spot where Louis bounced on the red line and went OB, mm-hmm. Bryson oh, bounced yeah. over that brush on Saturday and got lucky. Mm. Well, I mean, I didn't watch anything other than Sunday. It was meant to be. After they kick him out of the memorial for having COVID, and I mean, yeah, I, I was rooting for John. Well, he's just—he was just, he was just the best player, and he—he he made the putts when it counted. I was kind of getting pissed off. Everyone was missing putts. Yeah, Brooke, and then Brooks Rom, was doing dumb shit. Roy couldn't buy a putt. And then Rom said, "Here, I'll do it for you. Here's two on seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, DJ was right. You had to shoot a sixty-seven on Sunday to win. He probably needed a sixty-six. But have you played tour before? Yeah, I have. It's hard it South Court? South yeah. Court. Is it uh, prettier hard. than what it looks like, or does it just look brown? I mean, green? it's... I figured San Diego would be more like palm trees and green and greenery than... Well, not not that uh, property. I mean, there are no trees. Well, there's some trees, but it's mainly pretty open. Um, It's not the, the most beautiful course I've, I've played, but, I mean, it's nice. It, you know, I, I think they could have done more with some of the holes, but that's being nitpicky on a, a U.S. Open venue. But I, I think most people would agree it's kind of boring. Mm-hmm. I think it's boring. Um, but I think you know what they're able to do to it, the USGA could, would consider it a win. I mean, they can take any course and grow the rough out to six inches and cut the greens to 12s, and that's basically what they do every U.S. Open, right? Am I wrong? Mm. I mean, mm. I feel like you just dumbed it down a lot. Not at Pinehurst. Yeah, do they leave the rough longer at Pinehurst? Or is I'm it just sure so much? I'm sure it's plenty it? long, but uh, I don't. I don't remember when Keimer just ran his dick That's through everyone in 2014. Yeah. Well, he, he pretty heard much doesn't have any status. So he was uh, plus one going into Sunday this week. Was he? Yeah, he was in the. I didn't mean six shots back, but where did he finish? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Follow. Probably would have been better than my pick this week. Boom. Martin Keimer finished t twenty six at three over par. Yeah, I should have picked him. Instead yeah, of Tony. My, do we want to go over the picks really quick? I think we well, just do the really. subject. We'll talk, yeah. Nah, Who, I was last, right? Uh, I'm pretty good. sure I was. Who'd you pick, Cam? Will Zalatoris. Nope, Tony Finau mm. finished worse than him. <laughs> yeah, awesome. You know, like <laughs> fell on his face. So Fantastic. Austin had Spieth, who finished two over par. Uh, Cam, you had Zalatoris, seven over par. I had Morikawa at two under. Uh, Tommy Boy picked the winner at six under par with John Rahm. Oh, boy. And John, mm-hmm. you had Tony Finau, who was eight over par. Told you um, my boy was coming out swinging. So Tom now just – catapulted into the standings austin you're in first at 150 cam you're in second 108 tom's at 107 and i'm at 106 and john is at 13 and so even with a 50 advantage (laughs) wait are you 13 over no under he's 13 under he is under okay he is under par but though (laughs) wait what am i at 150 I'm 150. 150. How is so, he? How is he that uh, far ahead? I feel 13. like he was only 10 ahead of me. He so Austin going week. into that week was 152. Cam, you're 115. I was at mm. 104, and Tom was at 51. <laughs> nice. 
We are very <laughs> spread out. So, so John, yeah, John also went in. If you couldn't do the easy math at twenty-one under par, 13. nice. <laughs> we like so, it. So John went from dominating. Well, I would, I'd actually, I wouldn't say dominating, but from winning last season to it dominated last year. There was no chance you guys were going to catch me at some at a certain point. So I'll, I'll, I'll bow down this year. What did he win so, at last year? John won it at two hundred and thirty-five under par. Cam so was, I can, I can get that. I think. Cam was, was in. Cam was in. But we were also picking three people. No, we weren't. Okay, no, were we? Weren't. <laughs> yes, we were. Yes, we oh. were. <laughs> oh. So anyway, what was second place? Cam was second at two hundred and fourteen. I was oh, wow. third at two hundred eight or two hundred one. Tom was fourth at one hundred and eighty. And Austin, you were in last last season at one hundred and forty nine. So I'm better than last. Season. I'm not going <laughs> to break fucking fifty this year. There's no way I even break. With 50. that attitude, you're not. Yeah, yeah exactly. there's no way. Well, we get, we got- honestly, honestly, John, pick one person <laughs> in the top ten each week. Every week yeah. And you will do better. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, do not pick Tony Fee now. Can't not pick picking Tony I'm Fee. Having. That's the issue I'm having. I can't people pick, pick the same pick guy. Up. Pick the same guy. Can I can I just go on record really here, quick here for everybody to know? John has now picked Tony Fee now in the past three tournaments we've done picks. He's gone one okay. under par, four under par, and eight over par. So I'm not that bad. He's due I to win. Plus three. <laughs> He's due to win. Ricky Pick Fowler's him, John. A baby. Did you see that? My other, my other front. Oh runner. yeah, Ricky John, is definitely bad. Like John, do you, you know, owe Tony money or something? Because I'm just looking back through. Do I owe Tony money? <laughs> <laughs> just looking back through that's, the season. That's a great joke. You've picked him fifty percent of the time. You've picked him more than you haven't. Like you picked the field. <laughs> so I see you picked him more that's than I picked. Why speed. I am yes, absolutely. He, oh, he's yeah. he, he's outpicked your speed pick and outpicked my Kisner pick from last season and we're <laughs> and we're what half halfway through it's incredible oh yeah, hilarious just flies over the radar we make fun of austin for speed. who had who had john rom in the uh, <clears throat> uh in the no. first major no yeah that oh yeah i feel like someone did. Winner. i did motherfuckers there you go thank you cool. for yeah, reminding I was wondering, us cam I, was, I figured somebody <laughs> had him yeah. i did he was my you guys let me get him at like the fifth overall for the first pick my first. So pick. me and Dean both have had first majors this year. Yes, sir. Cash app is open. No free ads. Um, I never got anything. What is the price? I don't Wasn't know. Was it hundred dollars? We discussed it at the beginning. What? Of the season. I'm not giving you each a hundred dollars. That's what, what the fuck it was. are you talking about? That's what it was last year. I never gave Austin a hundred dollars. Yes, you did. You did. He got yeah, lessons did, with it. Cam, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but I think we know we changed it here. this year. But isn't it also <laughs> we're waiting until the end? Because why would I send you a hundred dollars if my pick one of my I, I, correct? Guys, correct. I don't think it's a hundred dollars. Uh, we discussed it at the beginning of the year. I'm pretty sure we changed it. We then changed somebody, it. one of our Someone listeners, needs Instagram. to go back. Yeah, God. Instagram. Where the fuck? You All right, that enough of the open. We got other shit to cover. I'm just <laughs> very happy, John. Around one. Um, yeah, me well, too. Real quick, let's uh, make our picks for the travelers. Did he get married Jesus. there or engaged there? <laughs> engaged. It was just engaged. I thought it was married. No. Here, Cam, go to Schmuck's one. I think he got. I think he got married in España. Probably. Wait, can He's I? He's American t- though. Also, while Austin turns over the the, the go, sheet, <laughs> did you guys see the clip of Phil Mickelson just propped up on the range with the range John like Prom's wife? Just <laughs> there. He went and grabbed a chair and walked over to her and sat yeah. down with her. That's hilarious. I love it's how just, you send me one page. I mean, you're gonna pick. You should pick from the top. Do you Where's want that? One? Is it in the? Those are the top messages. guys. Yes. Oh, text. Okay. Just go to b o v a d a dot l v forward slash sports forward slash <laughs> golf oh sports God. and golf. <laughs> hey, Tony, if he knows um, the first page, I should pick him. Do it, John. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going Tony Fino. Plus twenty five hundred. Are you serious? Yes, you're I'm a fucking moron. So, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're so I'm dumb. taking Paul. There's Casey. no penalty for last yeah, place. That's a good so one, Tom. Not? I'm gonna pick Cantley. No, actually, yeah, I will. I'm going Scotty Scheffler. Okay. Who'd you he pick, a... Tom? Sorry, Casey. Austin. Uh, Scotty Scheffler. Low key, these seltzers are amazing. Coors Light. So I've heard cream that pop. the Kirkland, the Costco brand. Seltzers are just straight up white claws. Really? <laughs> probably. It's, all the, it's probably all the overflow. And, and you can get a 24 pack for like, I think it was $12. like dollars. Yeah, they're cheap as fucking balls. That's hilarious. Great. Well, I'm going to go buy those now. I'm putting it on the record. I'm going with Wolf. 
I think I think the twenty four pack is twenty four bucks mm-hmm. compared to White Claw's twenty four pack, which is like thirty two bucks or something. Well, if you get a free twelve pack White Claw, White Claws, your White cost Claw? is zero. How did you get it free? Uh, you guys left a Stolen. pack of White Claw in my fridge from last weekend. Oh, you're welcome. My fridge was full of booze. My house is full of booze <laughs> when you guys left. You didn't take anything with you. You're welcome. What are we gonna do? Uh, Drink it on the way back home. Yeah. Blues tonight. Oh We're my god, those are so good. I forgot about that. I've got Knob Creek. So I've got speaking Ham of, mix. yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> to be fair, it's it's hard to get that one back home after you've opened. Oh it. fuck me! When you so get speaking no of leaving liquor at John's. Uh, shall we roll right? into it? <laughs> yeah, I need to get a seltzer before we start this. But um, but um, good one. So we we'll start with Friday. We'll start with um. <laughs> I don't even remember the weekend. <laughs> Myself, I seriously, Tom, it was Friday drunk Thursday to Sunday. <laughs> um, we left. I took a half day at work, and we left. And uh, while Cam and John are out on the golf course golf, we're getting stuck through uh, toll booths, having <laughs> to call the damn lady to let us through the gate. Oh my god, I forgot about. First that. off. I'm in the back seat. We start this drive. We're not even, and I shit you guys not. I'm not even two minutes into this drive. Austin's calling John to get his fucking address. <laughs> oh, I John, yes. I was listen, in the John car. No, listen, calls listen. back and Dean just hangs up. <laughs> yes. I, so I right that. off the rip, I, sw- I, I swear to God, we're li- I, I live down the street from Ridge Country Club. It's literally four blocks away. We make it from my house to the side of Ridge and they're already fucking screaming at each other. <laughs> yeah. That was that was my tone for the entire drive. Just those two screaming at each other in the front. Seat. <laughs> I remember when you guys called and you like I just picked him from the airport and you're like, hello, hello on the phone, and like nobody would talk. And I just, <laughs> I'll fucking talk to you guys in a couple hours. <laughs> that- Deed's mom has the new fucking Jeep where it has that bullshit fucking feature where you pull up to a stoplight and your fucking motor shuts off. Oh. So Dean shuts it off because it's fucking pointless. Austin's yelling at him about that. We also, so we came up with a great prank idea. So we went to Burger King. Um, Indiana. Oh my is, God. The oasises are where there's two on each side of the highway instead of like one instead overpass one oasis. Over the the Sunoco, uh, like, yeah. yeah. And so we went in, and there's a, there's obviously the same shit on both sides. So we went to the Burger King <laughs> on our side, and they, they had all the cash registers closed. So you had to order either through the little kiosk things or they had a QR code you could scan and order on your phone. So Tom goes, what if we go across the way, get the QR code from across the highway and hang it up over here? Right. I mean, it, just it, it tells them. you. It tells you in the app what oh, you're, dang, being, you're, you're ordering it from. up from the other side. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, oh, and like it. I mean, it tells you oh, that would be evil. It tells that you what Burger King you're ordering awesome. from, right? But like, you're not gonna real like uh, if you're in a hurry and you're just trying to get the fuck out. You're not, and, you're and not you'll be, just be standing there, Burger and then King. you're gonna start yelling at the people behind the counter, and they're like, "What are you talking about? You didn't wait, order anything? Wait, how about that Karen yelling about her Ooh. the cheese on, or what was it, the mustard on the chicken sandwich? Oh yeah, she ordered the. Well, to be fair. She orders a fucking chicken sandwich from Burger King and like loaded it instead of mayo. They just loaded it with mustard. Like, oh. would be too. why is there a shitload? But she of walks mustard? up there. She's like, oh. mayo or mustard on a chicken sandwich? I can understand mayo, but mustard. And she wants to say that like five times. She's like, oh, guys, mustard on a chicken sandwich. And at this point, we're only in Indiana. <laughs> we yeah, we just crossed the border. <laughs> Then we got detoured because of uh, a bunch of traffic. Liquor. So we got off in Amish country. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh my god! Oh yeah, dude. I don't understand how Amish people don't get hit more. Like, I'm yeah, I think were... they do. You just don't hear about it. <laughs> we're, heading, we're heading fucking east, right? And like the westbound traffic is like a it's mile a long because you got fucking Grandpa, you know Abraham, fucking <laughs> behind his goddamn horse-drawn carriage, and mouth. it's just like. I, if I'm behind him, I'm just I'm pushing you off the road. Get well, the fuck I, out of the way. I think it's 21st that. century, dude. I'm I'm not afraid of electricity. It's not my fault. You are. <laughs> fuck off. Get off the road. I said. I think I, I said that, Cam. I, what happens if you hit them? They can't catch you. They're on a goddamn horse, right. and you just they can't take a picture like of your license phone. plate. It's not, they don't have a cell phone. Oh, uh, some do. <laughs> They're going to pull out a piece of paper they, they and write can't. down your license plate. You cannot be driving horse. off Call fucking the, horse-drawn call. carriage and have a cell phone in your pocket. You can't. No, then you, you, really can't. Then they, your brother. you deserve to get run and off. And then there. you take their baked goods that they made and you run. And their fine wicker cabinets. 
<laughs> so after oh, so our adventure of a drive, we finally got to Ohio. Me and Cam played 18 Thursday. Picked him up at the airport, came back, played 18 so we could see the course for the for the showdown. Yeah, which t- would totally work to my favor. I waxed your asses. Mm-hmm. Tom and I and my dad and my dad John's dad. And John Shaver's dad. And John Shaver's dad. <laughs> Wax your asses. That was so, so it's so, pretty bad when I have to carry the team though. Am I <laughs> yeah, and I will say that was <laughs> speaking was, of I had no so, shots from Dean and it was fun. Speaking yeah, Dean, of John's Dean had dad, some stuff around the Dean didn't even like refute the point. I do. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> well, you guys wouldn't like even look at my shots, so I don't. I... We oh, even look at <laughs> oh, here we go. The par three. Yeah, it was like the second <laughs> fucking hole. <laughs> you fucking look at my shot. What the fuck? You look at my shot. Like, no, I love it. You just go up there and hit it. Like you just like <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Austin. My shot was so Damn. easy. And they're like, no, we're playing back here. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get to that. Don't worry. Next time. So we Next woke time. up on Friday. Friday morning. Did the floor brick on Thursday or Friday? Jesus. Friday. Saturday. Friday night. Was it no, Friday no, no, no. It was Friday night. Yeah. It was Friday night. Yeah. So the floor broke. No, it was Saturday night. No, no. Friday night. no it was no, not it was Saturday night. night. Oh. Friday night. So. The floor broke. Can we go old... in chronological order? Yeah. Well, let's... I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll wait till the end of the day, Austin. If you and want then to Sunday Friday we morning. left. So <laughs> Friday morning, Austin, go ahead. Chronologically. So, we, so we played uh, Thunderbird. Is Thunderbird right? South. Yep. After Dad's or John's no Dad's fire breakfast. Fucking way, Cam. Literally, literally, you comfortable? Fucking Cam. Go, yeah. Shut up. We're not doing this right now. Okay. <laughs> Austin, continue. Oh, uh, we're gonna play your ball, Austin. We're gonna play your ball. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking your shot here. We're, we're, we're taking, taking your shot, shot Austin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, go ahead, Austin. We're playing your ball. So Friday morning, we played what Thunderbird South, right? Correct. Yes. Um, Cam fired off like a three under par round. Not there. Yeah, you, you shot under par there. Friday morning, you did. Yeah, it wasn't three. I think I shot seven. One. Yeah, seventy one. Um, we played the round. Par, I don't know. Played the round in about four and a half hours, right? Four hours, forty five minutes, yeah, and we pull up. That. It was, it was like three forty five. Yeah, three forty five. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. And we pull we were, up to the clubhouse after, and the ranger looks at us and goes, "You guys did a no no." Yeah, and the foursome in front of us at <laughs> the turns like, "You guys are pushing us as a fivesome." He's like, "You guys, that, that's crazy." They and literally they were okay us. with it, yeah. And then at the end, when they got off the course, we were right behind them. And the Rangers like, "You did a no no." And the guys like, "Doesn't matter." They were pushing us. Just look at them, be like, "You care. are what's wrong with golf." Well, so, we'll, well get to that. Was... we'll get to that tomorrow too. So yeah, true. Um, Podcast is going until tomorrow. No. <laughs> tomorrow. I think we're doing chronological order here, so we have to talk about Saturday. So it's moving fun. on then to I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say, do you want to talk about like the value of that course? Because yeah, pretty good for, for that yeah. course to be what was it, forty two dollars riding? Thirty eight. Okay, it was less than forty. Like it was less than five. It was thirty eight. You put that here in Chicago, Cam. I don't know about the market in Knoxville. That's mm-hmm. that's an easy hundred dollar round. Like hands mm-hmm. down, that 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 course is well worth every penny. Yeah, no, I mean I, the the greens fees. I think were twenty five dollars. So just yeah. think, just think about that. <laughs> and it was uh, an incredible condition too. Yeah, that yeah, was, was good shape. That was good. They don't open it. until middle of May. Like they open their north course, mm. and they have people go in the north course and tromp it down and muck it up, and then they open the south course when the weather gets good. You, so the yeah. north course is open year round. It'll be open in December if we have a year good round. Day. Yeah, if it's a January, they'll it'll be open in January. Really? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So. I mean, within reason. Okay, if it's six inches of snow, it's closed. But if we've got like a, a good week of weather when it's 50s in January, they'll open it up for a couple of days. Because hmm. yeah. that happens all the time. Exactly. So, but what did you, uh, Tom? Yeah, so, what did you think of the course? I didn't one? get it. The Friday first morning. one. Yeah. No, Friday the morning, morning round. Uh, to to be fair, I you don't remember much. Golf, so, oh. a golf course is a golf course, as far as I'm concerned. I'm more about the scenery, and it's a cornfield. So you know, was... <laughs> I'm more about the scenery. No, you know what? Well, one, yeah, I literally the second we got to John's house and we started drinking, I just continued that on until Sunday yeah. when we left. We drank Sunday morning too, by the yeah. way. True story. No one gives a fuck. 
so I, I, I enjoyed, I think all the golf courses. I mean, we didn't go anywhere where it was like a complete dog shit fucking horse track. I mean, it was, we had, I had fun. I thought they were all solid. It's no fucking Sweetens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweetens not my backyard. So yes. Then Friday we had lunch at Manny's where there's a chicken shortage and we had to pay extra $2. Oh, only at Manny's. So. <laughs> only place in the United States. <laughs> Yeah, or there's right. a chicken sh- shortage. Yes. Well, to be yeah. fair, I went to get a Popeye's chicken sandwich for dinner tonight, and the one by me didn't have any chicken sandwiches. I don't think that's due to a chicken shortage. I think you that's never know. Um, if, they, if a Popeye's doesn't have fucking chicken, Austin, there's a chicken shortage. What about when they didn't have chicken for all the sandwiches two years ago when it first came out? That's because that's, people that's, bought them. That was the so, start so of the chicken for... shortage. It's been a two-year drought. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's two dollars, a dollar a year. So me and Nicole went to Manny's on Saturday for lunch, and I sent you guys a picture that still had the chicken shortage going. Mm. We looked at the menu, and seventy five percent of the entrees are chicken. <laughs> like every no wonder why it's a they brilliant business move. Yeah. That's what they're like. Doing. Every one Genius. of the not us, guys. Chicken. There's just not enough chickens in this world. Why don't they just raise their prices? <laughs> they did. Well, they did. By two dollars. Well, two dollars. <laughs> just raise menu. it and not say, oh, "Hey, there's a chicken shortage." Because people yeah. would bitch. My dad just bought a whole people chicken for like six dollars. Yeah, I don't believe it. But I don't know. All I could say is the two extra like dollars were chicken? completely worth it for that buffalo that, chicken. That, yeah, their food was really good. Honestly, I did not plan on having that much time for lunch because we played so fast on Friday morning. Yeah, yeah, but that just, worked out well. Imagine yeah. if we wouldn't have had a foursome in front of us. We waited on multiple times. We'd have been done in three hours and 15 mm-hmm. minutes. Yeah, we would have played lightning. That We would have just got more drunk at lunch. Did you hear? True. Did you hear what that group in front of us was doing though? I, I think Cam was standing there when they were talking to us. Yeah, they had like the, a thirty-two man Ryder Cup. Yeah, they were preparing oh, for really? a thirty-two yeah. man Ryder Cup, like across cool. state Sounds lines like and hell. shit. Yeah, I do not want to deal with thirty-two fucking idiots. No, you're dealing with fifty idiots. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you doing like fifty-four? Yeah, <laughs> you're doing fifty. <laughs> Granted, not everyone's an idiot. So thirty-two of them are probably idiots. So well, we'll see. <laughs> So we went to go ahead, at Austin. least it's in one location. All the idiots are located one spot. It's not going to be spread out across state lines. That's true. So we had the match then, and has it been released to the public? The outcome of the match that we whooped your fucking back. asses. No, I had her asses kicked. Yeah, beaten. And I mean, I think Cam shot like a seventy. And yeah. to be fair, to be fair, I wasn't the anchor on the team. I wasn't dragging us all down. There's a lot of times where everyone's like, all right, Tom, we're going to take your shot. I'm like, you're fucking right. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris was the anchor then dragging down. I can't believe he made some of those fucking putts he made. He never makes those in league. Oh, dude, that's he, your that's dad all we needed. Your that's dad all we needed. Fire. He could he couldn't really hit any other club in his bag, but uh, yeah. the putter is all we need. He actually shot a he shot well at league this week. That's I good. Seven. So would you nice. shoot? Thirty nine. Damn. Ooh. That's where, a, where where was this? I yeah, shot, I shot two forties that week. Cam, I shot a forty yeah. on uh, the front when we were playing, and I shot a forty on uh, sawmill. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so and did I you shot one of the forty eight like or, or something like that. I shot a forty one or forty two in the back at uh, Plumbrook, going through my head and scores up. I played well in the back. I mean, I had good golf that weekend. Plumbrook was fucking awesome. Yeah, Plumbrook eh, was fun. I mean, it had its moments. It had yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, like the that, people. Yeah. We'll get to that. <laughs> We'll get yeah. to it. So, no, yeah, I had uh, I shot a 39. Only, that, so, shot a 39 with a 13 handicap on nine holes. <laughs> Jesus, you're a scumbag. Oh, you're Jesus. a dickhead. Fucking scumbag. I don't, I don't, I'm not a scumbag because they crack out the handicaps. I don't sandbag. I'm not a sandbagger because I want to fucking do as best I can every time. Well, that's true. Um, When we get to our banquet, they do like a net, low net award. There's no way that somebody's going to be a fucking 26 for a net. No. <laughs> no, Last it's going to be a bigger scumbag. Yeah. So I get to come back at your award. Anyway, um, see, so Friday Perfect. was the match at Wasicket. My club. What did we lose like five and four? Yeah, yeah. we oh, lost we, pretty we bad. Were, we, we were just, we were destroyed. We were, yeah, we, it was just, bad. It was not even close. Well, when Cam is just fucking literally placing the ball exactly where he wants it to around matter. the course. Cam was hitting. I had no team support. <laughs> yeah, I played. John, like we took dog. like all of my To drives. be fair, I played very well that weekend, guys. Cam played great. Fuck you, Cam. I, Every I, time I'm, I'm just having a really good time. I'm just having a really great time. That was the right best now. four watching your round right stretch now. I have played. Really? Period. Well, I mean, you were like. Did you log out. it in gin? Did you put it in gin? Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all of them but one. <laughs> the two under. <laughs> That no, going. like the four under one because it, I mean it's part of a scramble. Oh yeah, yeah. And no, John, I, we literally used I like think it was fun. five or five of my drives on the front nine. 
Yeah, oh, what, let's talk about the starter at my club. Oh, he's, he's a, a dumbass. Old, the old fucking guy. You guys, like, you guys know can't you can't go out six talking six on the phone. Right? So, with yeah, he's like, you can't play as a like, six when we get on three carts and go to the pool to the first tee box. It's like, we're going to <laughs> three and three, and we go off as a four and a two. And like, we're like, okay. We <laughs> literally link up in the first you guys fairway. Want to hide under a tree in the first fairway. <laughs> those shank drives. And we're like, oh, well, we're fine. And oh, my God. I, he was on his phone. The, like, we came back. He didn't know which way was up. He still was on his phone. His dad forced ones, his tucked in shirt with no belt and his blue his jeans. We come around at the turn and he's talking on the phone. The phone is three feet from his ear. <laughs> yeah. He's got it on speaker oh. so he can hear it. And like, Hello. like he was walking around the phone the whole time. It's fucking stupid. After the turn, we literally teed off right in front of him as a six. Yeah, and I don't he think he fuck, saw us. He didn't see us at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will. I do. Can we, John, can we tell them how the starter and the, or the pro shop guy identified you oh yeah the fucking <laughs> asshole oh the guy so, who gave me lessons last year brooks is his name so austin and i walk in and we're the first ones there and they're like hey you know good morning blah 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 i was like we're checking in for schaefer uh there's like six of us and they're like he was like who's it under i was like john schaefer and he goes huh is that the guy with the beard drinks a lot and his wife's pregnant <laughs> it's like that it's like that's him <laughs> Fucking guy, I have to have <laughs> words with him, but That's yeah, he drinks weird. a lot. I'm like, what the hell, Brooks? Am I a drunk? Am I like the fucking drunk idiot at the? Are course? you not drinking oh, right now? I am, but I'm not the course. But yeah, no, fuck to fuck be an him. idiot to be at the so, course. So goddamn funny. Yeah, but I can't. He labeled me an alcoholic as I slur my words. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brooks is a good guy. He just never shuts up. Sometimes he's an old guy, just never shuts up. So. We both have our faults. I drink. He never shuts up. So <laughs> I drink. That's what it is. But yeah, uh, yeah so it was like it was in great shape. Usually sometimes in June, we'll get burnt out where it's like dead. They won't grass. water it. <laughs> they water it, but like the, the rough gets burnt out and then it's really thin on some spots. But mm. so Friday night we went to. Wait, hold on. Can we hold on? Hold on. Hold on. We, we have to talk about the fucking guy on 16, right? Oh, the fucking guy that stole my ball. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! god. Guy. Your ball. Guy. He took probably every single fucking us. ball. No, but did you notice yes. he passed us yes. and like went around us on a hole? There's like two holes stretching cut in front of us, and yeah. he's out there and just <laughs> on his own cart, whacking balls, picking up balls. So I lost my drive on the hole. It was a good drive. I mean, it was a decent drive. Mm-hmm. I'm like, my fucking ball should be right here. Where the fuck is it at? I'm like, I don't know where it's at. And he comes he by. passes us and like looks at us and waves. And waves. Oh, hello. Right. I'm like, yeah, hello. Hello. As he's still like vulturing around. He didn't even have golf clubs. clubs on his cart. He didn't? No. He had, he had like he two did. clubs. He had, like, I think he had like two. I don't. He yeah. did not have a bag. He was chipping and putting. No, yeah, yeah he, he definitely didn't have a bag. Oh, I guess I didn't notice that. So go ahead, John. So yeah. So I'm like, hey, did you find a ball over here? He's like, a ball? What? A ball? I'm like, yeah, there's a ball over here. It's got like a blue mark on it. He's like, a oh, truck. Uh a purple mark i'm like no a blue mark he's like oh yeah this one right here i'm like yeah that ball right there where did, where'd you find it at he's like oh right here and just threw it on the ground and just fucking took off it's like a bag <laughs> the like, fact that we saw him... it up like that's terrible we saw him dig it out of his pocket which made yes. it even better because yes, he had like, to like shuffle through five other balls he yes. found like like oh no i didn't find your ball what are you what are you yelling at me for oh no i stole your ball oh here's you mean the purple back. one like, yeah the, the purple one no oh here, here you go where's that he just throws it right behind his cart and just fucking drives off like not even close to where the ball landed at he just threw it on the ground like three feet from it and just motored away it's like, Get the fuck out of here. yeah that guy probably cost you like 60 yards so what's worse that guy picking up golf balls and the starter and the guy call me a drunk or the crowd at plumbrook Wait, no, no, no. We are, we're not there yet. John. Oh Relax. God. We have to talk about your house fucking oh falling house apart. Falling apart. <laughs> In the dungeon I where they keep yet. Um, and shit. So we're so wow, I thought you were going somewhere Here. else with that kid. Why don't you so just uh, somebody else tell the story? Well, besides their unborn child. All right. So oh we're my John. No, no Tom's, got the, story. Tom's got the story. We've all been drinking all day. We're hanging out in John's living room, watching some Formula One because that's what the boys do. And and we're all just you know chilling, sitting on the couch because it's like the one fucking room in John's house that's air conditioned, having beers, <laughs> hanging out. And all of a sudden, it was like there was like a mini earthquake just in John's house. And we all kind of just look at each other like, "What the fuck was that? Like something had fallen over." As, a, as like, like the whole house shook. Yeah, as w- what like me, Austin, and John proceed to sink like six inches. Yeah, literally. <laughs> 
<laughs> so and John, then John's somehow wife popped comes out back of up the, from of the bedroom floor. and like smacks John in the back of the head and was like, "Are you gonna go see like why our house just sounded like it exploded?" It took her no time. <laughs> and so John and I go down into the fucking basement and we discovered that the sketchy supports holding up John's living room and <laughs> actually by force the entire house up actually. <laughs> they were completely rusted and since john has never had company over apparently didn't know what to do under spot. all the weight of the yeah. five of us granted what we, we had about what 1500 pounds in yes. one plus a couch on yeah like linear on couch. area Ten square yeah. foot area <laughs> so that fucker just completely snapped at the bottom and fell down and you know lowered we the just floor left it we've been drinking at this today. point for over 12 hours i didn't give two shits no to get no you know what the best couch. part of the story is is chris john calls his dad and goes so like what do i do he's like just like uh disperse the weight what does john do he sits comes and just down sits spot. right back down same, where he was position. well you yeah. guys moved i had to disperse that was enough for me no we didn't move <laughs> no one moved, moved. No, oh, didn't move. No. Eh, whatever say lovey such is life even better story if we uh we all sink three feet instead of oh, six dude, inches. could you imagine if we all fell in the basement be- <laughs> that was that was my joke i was like what if this is like a 90s cartoon where all of a sudden we're just in the basement sitting on the couch just through the very floor bad because that's my furnace is right underneath it that would have been expensive be like well we're building a house like next week <laughs> yeah so i still have to fix it you wouldn't so have been able to afford that to fix it. one year later still have to fix it <laughs> We go there next year and fall through the floor. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, no. Uh, before people come over again, I'll have a You go it. down there and there's like just a bunch of r- yeah, rigged up bullshit. A, yeah, it's a really sketchy with two by four with tape. like seven bent nails. No, he uses all the Real beer tape. cans because he drinks a lot and just stacks them on top of each other. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Aluminum's pretty strong nowadays. Melt down oh, the right. aluminum and turn it into a bean. Smell the aluminum. Just do that. Smelt aluminum from League Night. You don't need that roll cage in the truck. Just yeah, use that to support the floor. <laughs> it's a dirt floor, so they were all rusted. As me and Tom like had the flashlight, and I shined at the bottom of every single support, every yeah. single bottom of it was rusted. And like, also, every- that, it. That, that basement is like straight w- out of the ring. I was like, going to say that basement was that sketchy little, as that little fuck. fucking girl. Yeah, that's why I didn't go down there. The yeah, I was oh, you didn't go down there. Talk yeah, about the upstairs dungeon <laughs> the upstairs. that we went in. Yeah, remember the upstairs? I'm surprised we didn't fall through the fucking ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> the upstairs is... Let alone the Guys, I don't floor fucking live in a fucking it's cardboard box. Up out of the 1800s. And you know what the thing is? If we would have fallen through the upstairs floor, we would have gone all the way to the basement. <laughs> yeah. oh, the impact on the first floor. Yeah, John, John proceeds to say, hey, guys, anything you see, you can take home. I was like, I want that tractor. He said, well, you can't have that. I want this bell. Oh, well, you can't have we that. We brought the bell, stole my truck. Oh, my God. See, I could have taken that. We brought it to the course. I was with Austin. Like, should we bring the bell? And he's like, yeah, we should bring the bell. And then we forgot yeah. to get out of the bag. Well, John was well, being a boomer. He's like, we can't make that much noise on the course. I was like, John, bring the fucking bell. Uh, yeah, and we yeah. left it. In I mean, the to be fair, so we got yelled at as going out as a six. I'm pretty yeah. sure. We would Every have castrated yeah. if we had a bell out there. <laughs> Every three putt. The, it was the three putt bell. Oh, yeah. that, we're going to take, take the Sweetens, the shame bell, the three putt shame bell at Sweetens. <laughs> that that bad or mad. Shame. Ooh, that's going to be a good, that's oh, going to be something. Fuck. I'm gonna think Is about that, that allowed or not? I mean, I'm going to think of something to shame whoever. If she we could do three putts. Roman candles at him. I mean, she says. Could do that. <laughs> it's not deadly unless you got a helmet on and it goes up in your helmet. Or if it, you know, hits you in the eye. Why was that oddly specific, <laughs> Dick? John? Have you ever seen a video of the guy that gets shot with Roman candles and one goes in the helmet and explodes in the helmet? No. He's got on his head? Can't oh, yeah, yeah. That that's an old video. The guy's got a no wonder helmet on with the, the visor open, and the guy shoots him in the face with a Roman candle, and it goes inside the helmet and explodes like right in his face. And that's John's neighbor who lost an eye. <laughs> I would literally wrong. chop that guy down like funny, like a fucking cherry tree with an axe. Like shooting a Roman candle and it gets stuck in a helmet. No, but the guy was like standing there waiting for it to hit him. So it's his own fault. He was taking the shot. That's why he had the helmet on. He should have died like salad fingers. So. Well, so then we go. We, so then Saturday, Friday night we went to the small city. Saturday we go to play at Plumbrook, the local country club. Bunch of twats, bunch club. of boomers. I'll let that place was story. sick. I'll, I'll interject. The place was There's great. A lot, of, a lot of good history there, but the the people the were kind of poopy. I want to say that was the first round I've actually ever played with Cam. 
literally the mm-hmm. whole the whole year and a half I've known him. Mm-hmm. That was the first time ever. And having somebody with your skill cam to help guide around the course is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't don't give me too much credit, but I never get that. It does it can. does help. I mean, I I know what you're talking about. Just having someone with a different perspective, it does help. That's why. Well, it gives you so much more confidence over your swing. Awesome. Yeah, and you played well. I think yeah, that's definitely my low round of the summer so far. I think I fired off like an 85 or an 86 or oh wow in that area. But it just it was like you said, a completely different perspective. And Austin's shout like out Austin's uh, some reassurance. Shout Mike. out uh, Mikey. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mike giving Del us Hunt. Give, giving wow, us we're giving away last play. names now. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, he doesn't fucking care. That What's was, he gonna that do? Like, that was a ton of fun. So we definitely appreciate that. Yeah, until those the fucking guys cocksuckers split up. Cocksuckers. Yeah. So here's the story. It was a stupid fucking no, kid. Was, here's the story. So, so we go off as a six sum, like the starters, like three and three. We're like, yeah, this is no, the starter. You said we could go at six. Yeah, no, he, no, he no, was no, 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 not, mm. no, that was not, not the starter. The starter did not say this. We left on three carts. John, the guy came into the fairway. That's not the fucking starter, Austin. Let me finish the story. So we leave, and the starter's like. Air, son. <laughs> and was, he's like yeah yeah we're good we leave in, th- in three carts for two three sums that doesn't work math in your head does not work that way so we go tee off it we is all Ohio. tee off and- <laughs> it's true so we we tee off we're on the fairway most of us um and the tournament they had that morning they had a, a, a playoff round coming through so we pulled it aside because that was the club pro austin that came out in the golf cart that was eric the club pro that said we could play as a six sum He's like, yeah, you're good. Because he said, come up to me in Delhi and goes, yeah, you guys are six on. And he's like, yeah, you're fine. As long as you keep pace, let anybody behind you come play through. You're fine. We're good. So we played one, two was the par three, played two. And then to the tee box at three, the cart girl comes out. She's like, yeah. I got to break you guys up. And Delhi's like, what? He's like, yeah, Eric wants to, Eric said he's got to break you guys up now. And we're like, uh, okay. So she drove away on a cart, so we had no way to break us up because we don't have an extra cart again. <laughs> Math is terrible for these people. Um, also, so we, can we really quick, if Eric wants us to break up, he should have come and told us himself, not send this poor little 16-year-old out there to tell us to break yeah, up. Yeah, here's half his problem. Here's here's the other half. Yeah, <laughs> put it together. Yeah. Yeah. That girl Cam, so, Cam is making a vagina me. for anyone listening with his hands. Eric actually seems like a nice guy, the pro. But that's probably why he didn't want to tell us himself because he didn't like he wanted, he wanted to be the cool guy work. yeah so, so he didn't want um, to do his job. we finished okay. three we go grab another <laughs> cart we tee off from four so as me and Deli are driving back to get another cart we get up there and i'm just like this is fucking stupid and he's like saying the same thing and he asked the cart girl goes so what happened and she goes well, a member called in and he's like well who and he and she goes voight jr and he's like what what like where was he even at in the course? He's like, he's not even in the fucking course. And she's like, that's what happened. They called in and complained. And he's like, this is fucking bullshit. And we went out and we teed off a four split up. So somebody else can carry on from here the rest of the day. Us three had a blast. Me, John, and Tom had a blast out there. I on got the... fucking hammered. <laughs> Tom's out there tornadoing bears. Tornado. <laughs> Dude, I was fucking shit faced. Dancing to Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. <laughs> we were having the time of, of our lives out there. The course was fun. I like it. Was fun to play. It's Drew a shape. giant dick on a golf ball and left it on a green. And so then I proceeded did. to hit it and make birdie. And then we did relink up and it's imprinted on on my persimmon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Even it is. Dick print. It's a mushroom stamp on your club face. Hey man, it works. So we were rebels in place as a six sum on the <laughs> back, right? We were the link furthest up away like from the club. We are we are on twelve and, oh, and then and then so, tell, so, so this is the rest of the story. So tell the story from eighteen. So on eighteen t. Yeah, he comes up, little needle dick, and Mike comes talks to him, and then he he proceeds to kind of say out. no. Well, he what? he was like, dude, your he dad, said your no. dad called on us to break us up. Yeah, and he goes, and he goes, he's like, no. And his, and his buddy friend. is like, no, you called on them. Yeah. You called on them. He's like, no, it wasn't me. Just... No, you definitely called on them. He broke that up. His, so, well, I, I saw a six of them go out right in front of us. And 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 then a boobity to scoobity. And I'm thinking, what? what? It, I mean, John, you said he wasn't even there. I don't know where they were. And they were. They, so they, they were passed be- us. 
they, they were a few holes guys, behind. Yeah. And then they only played nine holes and they were done. That's why they never caught up as, to us. Yeah, they were they were mad, but they, they weren't even the out. they weren't even the group behind us. That's the no, no they know. wanted to go out on ten and they wouldn't let them just start on ten and play the nine from there. And he was like, Well, there's a six them out there. We don't want to be behind the six them. Yeah. And that was what the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Fucking so come to find out his dad is actually the club champion for like the last club two years. Champion. His grandpa dance. was a club. So it's like <laughs> live on the course it's like that's what oh yeah i hit a golf ball into that fucker's house (laughs) (laughs) not really but i actually talked to a couple people at my league that are um they could be members at plumbrook we got some pretty cool people and they're like that's fucking wrong what's wrong with the course they can't get any members in their 30s or 20s yeah well that's what mike was saying that's what mike was saying no no one no one wants to go out there and i can see why well and even your fucking 18 year olds are acting like that yeah that's that's taught behavior from a father to an 18 year old. Like uh, that's yep. not right. Mm-hmm. That's not like an 18 year old does not call out. Like, no, it's not how it works. Unless and you're then his friend ratted him out. That was the best yeah, that, part. That, I'm the, glad his friend. Yeah, he's like, I didn't, didn't do it. it. His friend's like, no, I'm you, pretty, you hundred percent. Sure they could see the looks on at least my face and maybe Tom's face. Besides, well, It didn't help that you were in the yeah. cart. Cam, yeah, you just kept them. calling him a rat. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. he was, he didn't fucking look at me. Well, even Mike was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Like Tom had said after we got split up, if I was a member there and they come out and told me oh, that. I would have been like, reaming ass. I would be like, fuck <laughs> you. No. Reaming Just, yeah. No. Have that guy fight me if they want to split us up. <laughs> if he beats me in his tooth of death. <laughs> so, yeah, just <laughs> no. challenge to a duel. Ah, uh, No. Have you or be like, or be like, play Cam in a one hole playoff. We win, yeah. we stay as a six them. But there was nobody even behind us. No, like, or in no. front. We actually yeah. caught a group in front of us. Remember? Yeah, I, we, we did. Yeah, you guys, you guys. We were, caught a group in front of us. We were way ahead of us. We were oh dicking around. God. Well, we kind of played like our own version of Wolf, where mm-hmm. the single got two tee shots, and then the two playing together got to play the better drive. Yeah, oh, I kind of like that. That's pretty yeah, cool. The, the, That's... the two people, the two people playing together, punts essentially play, played a scramble. But only off the they team. could play. So no, a shamble. Well, you were the only one that shamble decided you do it. I the thought team. that's what we, did. <laughs> we did it. Shot and I just the best fucking shot. But yeah, no. But it was. I mean, if you went off solo, then everyone only had the one the one tee shot. But like, if yeah, I had teed it. off and the I, you know, John picked me, then Austin was able to then tee off. Like if he, he hit fucking drives. hooked one, he could. Yeah, hit then you get. That's pretty shot. cool. That that's fun. a really cool idea as a yeah, three man i mean it gives it more of a challenge to the wolf and the teammate against the solo and if the solo won you got two points that's yeah. pretty cool yes but we never kept track of points so we no we did <laughs> we drank too much so yeah that was when we, we ended up making another fucking pit stop and picked up some more alcohol and then it was just all, <laughs> that was natasha Bedingfield on, yeah. on blast <laughs> Well, and John was like scared to turn the speaker up. I mean, Tom were like, turn the fucking club. speaker. This is my club. We there was no one once. within like four holes of us. I mean, to be fair, Cam did say we were going to get thrown off a golf course. Yeah. Now, and you were yeah, being a scared we almost did. Bitch. I'm out here trying to fucking just rip I'm a some potential member. Field. Don't throw me off. No, Cam I and I, Cam and I had our speaker blasting. So what yeah. was what'd you guys? Mike was more race? drunk than all of us. Yeah, yeah Mike was. Fun. Mike, was hammered. Mike did only took one drink to get primed again. So yeah. the pump was. Oh, that's true. He was he, already. He drunk. was. He was already. Drunk did you hear? Yeah, he woke up from the beach and like he woke up right on the beach. Like, yeah, on the beach. He was late and he woke up on the beach. And then when he left, he's like, "What? I got I got ass with my name on it back at the beach. I gotta go." He probably yeah. hung out with us for like 15 minutes after the round and then fucking he's a good dude. In his short he's a good yeah, dude. that was fun. We all got to shower, which is like golden, I guess, the state oh of my Ohio. God, that shower was amazing. Well, we weren't allowed to night. shower Friday after playing 36 <laughs> out in the sun. That's not my problem. I don't no, know. it was. No, <laughs> literally. No, it wasn't. no, it wasn't your fu- your problem, but it was your fault. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so. Um, you literally nice pointed a gun at us and said you are not allowed to shower. <laughs> That's exactly. Right. I literally went in the bathroom, I, I want to go to the bathroom and change. <laughs> and after ten seconds, they're pounding on the door. Where the fuck are you, Austin? I'm like, dude, you I'm literally have, changing. You could have used the faucet to shower. Flush uh, the water on your balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little couple uh, wet wipes. So Freshen what was the rates there? Did we get to find out what the rates were for Plum Brook to be a member? The rates? Uh, no, like it wasn't any. I don't think it was anything. No, crazy. it was. It was. Uh, was it well, 90? This, but they charge you thirty eight oh, bucks a round no. for a cart. Remember that though. Yeah. So I mean, and I don't think he cares, but it's like fifteen hundred. But he's a I mean, junior. He's like twenty five. Yeah. So like a junior membership or whatever. Yeah. Um. 
Well, it's probably it's like just 15, 1600 bucks. And then you pay for a cart. And then there's a minimum that you can use for like booze, like a food a minimum, month, but you yeah. can use it for booze. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not bad, but paying for the cart thing is kind of bullshit. Yeah, but paying but, for I mean, 30, getting fucking yelled probably. at. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have tolerated that. I didn't yeah, even get no. Dally talked into playing the member guest because he's never played in one of those before. He's like, it's too expensive. Oh, I'm like, dude, we need to do this. We'll be the drunk he needs out here. Right. Uh, it was awesome though. I, a huge shout out to Mike. I know he said he's a new listener, so really no, 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 appreciate no. it. He said he listened to about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen here, yeah. dickhead. He was messaging <laughs> me on Instagram. Asking when we were going to release the recap. No, uh, last week. So uh, now is probably my favorite part of the story. Ago. What's the favorite part of the story? So we leave Plumbrook and uh, <laughs> put in Bay. And John goes, uh, oh, Pussy Bay. You guys uh, go grab two four packs and uh, we'll wait in the car for you. Oh, fuck All right. Guys. Me oh, and Tom yeah. walk into the bar. <laughs> to be fair, you sent me in my inebriated state into a brewery and thought I was just going to walk in and walk out. That and me and Tom, my fault that you put that responsibility. Me and Tom walk up to the bar and Tom looks at me and goes, You know what we got to do, right? <laughs> He's oh, like, God. grab a chair. <laughs> I've never heard the story yet like this. So like, we sit down at the bar. In Tom, face right now, I was like, you motherfuckers. And Tom, oh, I looks, walked in. I knew it. I knew it happened. Tom looks at the beer menu and he picks one. He goes, that one, ten percent alcohol. I want it, uh, dude. Stupid good. Probably one of the best beers I've ever had. It was fantastic. We get two of them, and then we're sitting there drinking, and Cam walks in. In the meantime, we're like, fuck. <laughs> Well, I had already blamed mm-hmm. it on the bar owner, though, at this point. Yep. I was I, telling I John. I was telling John to fuck yeah. leave your he, know, he thought, because John knows the, the guy that owns the bar, so he thought that he had just given Austin a <laughs> yeah, cop. Well, I convinced so. him that, because I go, they're drinking stouts, John. Austin hates stouts. That's he would never like, order that's this. Ka. That's Ka. Ka gives out stouts. Like, he likes to fuck with they're people. So and I swore funny. it was him. It was so good. <laughs> to be fair, we were trying to pay for a while. We couldn't find the bartender. That is a true story. <laughs> I literally fair. wanted to also order call bullshit buy the on drink, that. pay. Kim, you saw us trying to pay. we finished the beer, we could leave. They are slow to pay. And there. she just straight up disappeared. I had no idea <laughs> I'm, I don't even think I paid her. I think it was someone else. I think the, my money. the better part was Austin <laughs> calling John going, where do we get the four packs? We don't know where to buy the four packs. John's like, walk up to the fucking bar and <laughs> ask for four, four, two, four packs. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, that bar is fucking solid. So we did make it to the boat about a, 20 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, to all the people who th- shout out to all the people who thought I was serious, by the way, about being on the ocean. <laughs> <They are funny. laughs> a, couple, a couple people answered our DMs and was you like, say the eerie ocean. <laughs> no, no, I put like straight from the club to the ocean. What a life. <laughs> and I had like a, a people actually like texted me, too, and was like, what I know ocean? you run the Instagram. Did you mean to put ocean? I'm like, no. Sean, I did not. My wife texted me like, "Yes, this, your wife did." Ocean. Like, she's, she's at home, like, on our Instagram. Like, does Dean know it's not an ocean? <laughs> like, seriously, didn't said. you text you like check your Instagram? Yeah, something like that. I was Tom, like, Tom Rog, shout out to you, Tom. <laughs> what do he say? He goes, "I don't." He goes, "You do realize how far you are from an ocean, right?" Or, or <laughs> something. Technically, so, if you go from like here, you can get to the ocean, but it's like a thousand miles of open right. water. Oh, it was just, it was hilarious. And a just, real quick segue. So, John, we were at dinner. Um, the Sunday we came home at my grandparents' house, and my grandpa's like, "Oh, where'd you golf? You know, what'd you do?" And we we're like, "Yeah, oh, we yeah. we golfed. We went out on Lake Erie." He's like, "Oh, you guys went to Putin Bay." <laughs> <laughs> Our grandfather, uh, grandpa. That's awesome. It's like I said, Putin Bay is good until 6 p.m. After 6 p.m., and it becomes a fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> next time, I guess if you want to come to Cal or come to Cedar Point, we'll take the jet to Putin Bay. And next time, so. your dad did say he will take us. Yeah, we will go time, without my dad, time, and we'll take the jet. So we're not I'm tied bring, to them. I'm not even there. bringing golf clubs next time. I'm straight up roller coasters and. Yes, absolutely. We need to go to. Yes. We will take the Wait, Jet what Express. Did you just say? <laughs> what? what did you say, Tom? It's fine. My wife doesn't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. If we go to Putin Bay, we'll take the Jet Express because you can get tickets there and back. Fuck yeah, and we're gonna take your private jet. About... <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. So Isn't the pussy jet. I mean, at late at night, sometimes it does turn into that. So perfect. 
<laughs> there's been fights on the Jet Express. The Midnight Boat Back oh, is like God. if you sit in the corner and there's so many Conor McGregor's on there that want to like fuck people up. Just it's like the drunk the train. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a drunk. It's a like people puking, people fighting. Wait, like just, it's, just, it's crazy. just walk down the boat, just tossing that people. That sounds up. amazing. Tom, yeah. Tom, no. tell tell the story. So before we left, Tom has or the night before, Tom, his wife, and my girlfriend and I, we went out to dinner, and Tom was like. All I want to do this weekend is get super fucked up and push Austin into the lake while we're on the boat. So oh, we're God. we're walking we're walking to the boat, and Tom goes, "I don't think I'm gonna even have to push Austin in. I think I'm so <laughs> fucked. I think I'm so fucked up. I'm gonna just fall in." <laughs> Dude, after we left the fucking so we, when we got back from Kelly's Bay or Island, we get back and we were in the bathroom. <laughs> And I wandered into, I don't even know what this room was. I have no idea. I just walked in. And they had the UFC fights on. It was fucking great. So I'm just sitting there. I'm hanging out. That's when we were all waiting for him outside. We thought he was in the bathroom. He's sitting there watching I was hammered. I don't know why any of you left me alone. Where were we? We were waiting for him right outside the boathouse. We were heading back to the Oh, the, they were in the front room of the uh, yacht club or the boathouse there. Yeah, yeah he, we had just he, gotten off the boat. We were yeah. walking to the brewery. We thought Tom went to the bathroom, so we were standing there waiting for him. Tom's like, like, oh, oh, yeah. He's I in the TV call- room watching the fight. That's hilarious. He calls me, and he's knocking on the window. He's like, dude, turn around. I'm like, where <laughs> are you? You're like, listen. And he's like, dum, 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 and he's hitting on the window. And I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, look, he's still talking to me on the phone. So he's like, look, he's pointing at the, the TV. He's like, they got the USC fight on. <laughs> I was like, all right, we're going to the bar. He's like, this Goodbye. round's got like 30 seconds left. Hold on. So, so we just we went kept to the walking. bar that night and we drank and then Ka- we we cashed out. Remember Ka brought us that next round of beers? No. No, I, I don't for, remember I much paid of for that. that John. No, no, no. I think he Did brought that us that happened? Beers. No, I paid for him and could no, I don't even remember Austin, seeing Austin him. got the last round. Oh, well, anyway, he saw me like the next day. He's like you and your buddies don't drink all your beer. I'm like, ha, ah, we had to go home, man. Like, like oh yeah, that time. wasn't my it choice. Was, yeah. That was time to go, man. That was that was time to go home. I don't even remember that. When we just left our half beer full. Well, you like, guys left me in there. No, the my beer was huh? empty. Well, my beer we was did, absolutely. We did empty. leave you in mine there. Was, that is mine correct. Still, we went and got the truck. In it. Yeah, I walk. I went. I go to close my tab. I turn around and everyone's just gone. I was like, okay, well, well. My beer was definitely empty because my glass was on your dick, John. You told me a hundred times. You told me a hundred times. My ball sack is in your glass. You need to wash it. I I finished mine, too, because my my glass is currently upstairs in my kitchen in Chicago, not in Ohio. Oh, shit. I thought I I took one, one, but I don't know where I put it. I'll bring it to bat or I'll send it to you because I wondered how I why (laughs) Nicole's like, why the fuck did you steal glass from Small City? You can just ask Ka for one. I'm like, I don't know how I stole this. More fun to see. <laughs> it was actually cams. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered how I got that glass. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it was a fun cool. trip. And then you guys are fucking psychos and don't get up and leave in the morning. Like, Listen, we left you at like 9.30. Yeah, we left at 9 a.m., John. And we up for an hour and a half before that. Full bullshit. No. We left at 9 a.m. I got into John's house at 8.15, 8.30. And you fuckers were still sleeping on the couch. Ooh. I was wide awake. I already showered. Thank you. Yes, no, I you waited for you like outside after you showered. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to get up, and it was the worst drive to the airport of my life. <laughs> at least you got it getting wasn't, up. It wasn't at, very good. Yeah. Getting yeah, up at 6, 6 15. I'm like, Cam. Or did yeah. you text me? I think you texted text, me. Like, I you text, said, text I'm you, ready. Yeah. And as I was walking to the house, I'm like, this is fucking terrible. Yeah. So, so what's an hour felt. drive to? Uh, an hour yeah. both ways, yeah. So, yeah, ish. So, I got bad. back at like 8 30, and I did not feel right until Tuesday. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I was too tired to sleep on Sunday because I was so fucking tired I could not nap. And then Monday, I was dragging ass the entire day. Yeah, I, I mean, I was feeling Tuesday. pretty shitty, and then that night, I ended up drinking. <laughs> I, yeah, you gave me shit for having a beer at dinner on Sunday and a burger, and you're like, I don't know how you're doing this. And I think you, literally, and then I drink just on pour a glass of wine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I went out. I went out. We got a taco. You guys had margaritas and stuff. Was, that, didn't you? Oh. I was freaking. I had a beer. Yeah, I was, was hurting trip. at work on Monday though. Mm. <laughs> well, because that beer on Sunday just pushed your hangover My, back to Monday, dude. I had that fucking beer and immediately broke out into a sweat. <laughs> I was sitting in an air conditioned restaurant and I'm sweating profuse. <laughs> my body had no idea what to do. Your was wife so, was probably was like, What the so, fuck? My body was so confused. And then, yeah, it just it really took it out of me at work on Monday. It just, I had no idea what to do. 
everything. I was like shaking. I was terrible. <laughs> I think we were all texting in our group chat. Like, I do not feel right right now. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was absolute miserable. I just was kids. tired. Like when you stay up till midnight and get up at six or seven, three days in a row after drinking and partying and golfing. I will tell you though, son, having the later die, tea terrible. time on Saturday was a lifesaver. Yeah, I getting to go I... and get a good breakfast. Yeah, Austin yeah. bitched about everything in his meal. No, I did Saturday what? breakfast. Yeah, what? I'm in the sun. I didn't get oh. my drink. No, that was Dean who didn't get his First drink. First of all, I didn't get my oh. drink. I didn't bitch about it. Oh, the, oh, we were bitching at Austin about his hot coffee, and it was yeah. 85 fucking oh, degrees out. <laughs> let me drink what I fucking want to drink. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Austin was hammered on Sunday as he drove us home. The fucking the breakfast place. I forgot about that. Hilarious. <laughs> well, they, they do. It's like, you want to sit outside? Fucking 92 degrees outside, 78% humidity. Throws us in the corner in the sun. The Freaking one black fucking table coffee. that is in the sun. All the other tables are just, you know, just there. Yeah, the <laughs> they hit us for a reason. I'm glad we weren't inside with our fucking conversations and voices. Shoots yeah. and ladders. Oh my god, I forgot about. <laughs> and literally- oh my god, I do remember what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's <laughs> move in. Oh Let's- my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wait. It's not no. bad. No. We are done with that conversation. Oh, on the podcast. My There's I no was more talking about. about the board game. Where the fuck are you guys going with this? Um, I'm gonna get a neon sign oh, that says that. Oh, <laughs> and and give it, it away the, at Matt. The Do Sweeper <laughs> HQ, Ohio <laughs> brand. I'm gonna put it in the duck room. In the, the, duck room. Room. In the, the chicken room. room. The chicken room. It's chicken, the chicken room. Oh. <laughs> I had a blast, guys. I'm glad you came. It was, it was fun. A, it was yeah, yeah, no, it was a good was weekend. Incredible. Even though I didn't get to drive the fucking truck you bastard next time or a tractor we we were too tired to the, yeah, kill the, someone yeah in a tractor i, I just think we need totally to mellow out the golf maybe just play one round each day probably right yeah no, it wasn't bad playing the two rounds because we didn't do anything really afterwards well that's we true to get dinner it wasn't yeah, like a, that was a fine night i had a blast i absolutely had a blast yeah, no, guys game. we enjoyed it though i enjoyed it yeah had a blast yeah, it was well yes. worth the drive. John, so. make sure you thank your uh, father for the great hospitality and the boat ride. And everything. Oh, he loves you guys. He probably loves you guys. Oh, we love more. Chris. <laughs> we do love Chris. We love Chris. I didn't love him after his breakfast because I literally wanted to just go right Oh, we back forgot he made breakfast back. for you. Yeah, so. and I played some of the best golf ever. Yeah, Tom Maybe and I is. couldn't even drink our biscuits, fucking coffee. Biscuits and gravy. And I was like, well, I'm just going to go back to bed. Fuck golf. <laughs> I, I did kind of feel like a... a a solid 20 pound lead <laughs> piece of shit Dude, then he, he, so asked me, he asked me friday he's like do you want to make breakfast tomorrow morning i'm like no dad we got it we're good <laughs> we'll give him choices tomorrow <laughs> so yeah, yeah two we'll days of, my, of, of with, my nephew, nephew. with my niece and nephew he always makes breakfast for everybody and it's, it's his thing yeah no it's fun so but yeah it was always, awesome always biscuits and gravy at ohio cool. hospitality man yep all right well we got one more thing to talk about before we're done Slew banger, no, the race, the French GP. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah dude, that our, shit was our boy won actual solid fucking race. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, it fucking, was. It was great. I oh, love yeah. how Botas is just fuck all y'all. I told you it was a <laughs> fucking <laughs> me. stop. Yeah, they fucked him. They yeah, fucked they, him hard. They, they fucked not, Hamilton too. Not only did they fuck him by not pitting him twice and Hamilton twice, they fucked him by not pitting him to try and get the fastest lap. They did. No, they did nope. pit him to get the fastest lap. I don't think they, no, did, they did not pit they him. They, they kept him out. Pit him. They kept. They him were out. talking they about doing no, that. And Max they never got sent the him fastest in. lap too. Yeah. I, I hope. Him. I hope, Valtteri, like throughout the rest of the season, intentionally fucks them. There's no intentionally fuck. He won't intentionally fuck them because he's still well, got to try. He's got to find a new home still, right? But Oh dude, any team would love to have him oh, even right. if he cucks Hamilton somehow. The 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 best was every time it would just cut to fucking Toto and he just looks like he's on the verge of a fucking meltdown. To- Toto <laughs> Toto was going to go purge himself like after the race. He was just, just horrible. Three will not and to and I and I was so I was I was reading on uh, on Reddit that uh they had apologized. You're even so deep in F1, you're going on F1 Reddit now. Yeah, the F one fortune. So they 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 apologized to Hamilton and was like, "This is on us." But, but they, I, they, they never apologize. Valtteri. <laughs> they never yeah. apologize to Valtteri. Yeah, he's not gonna be there next year. Oh, well, that's okay. Here's a question: If he if if Bodas leaves, 
Where would you want to see him? I want to see him at Aston Martin, but Stroll and Vettel are going to be there next year. I would love to see Vettel and Valtteri together, but Stroll's oh, yeah. dad owns that the would be, team. That yeah, would no, be cool. Stroll's not going anywhere. Stroll's, Stroll's not going team. anywhere. His dad's got deep checkbooks. So, what if he went to like Alphatari or something? I don't think they're going to get rid of. They're not going to get rid Gasly's of. Gasly's not. They're not getting rid of the pure they're Gasly. They're not getting rid of and Gasly. Get rid of the Jap. No, they're not. That's marketing Sonoda? money. They're not getting rid of Yuki. Yeah, Sonoda. He's actually some other team. To send him to fucking Williams. But that's like that's like so yeah, like pedestrian. That <laughs> like, like it's oh, I'm sorry. Weird. Well, so why would you do uh, that to that man? I mean, realistically, if that's Honda was smart, they'd get into this shit and not get out of it. Well, I think he's going to end up at Williams, and they're going to do a driver swap with Russell and him. That's exactly what I think. So, or he can go to Alpine because I think Ooh, uh, Fernando Alpine. Alonso is going to retire after this year. There's no way he's going back. He needs year. to, but he's actually racing decent the past few, yeah, few he's, races. He's fucking done. He's going to go. Well, Carlo had he should have never came monster back. of a fucking race. Can we talk yeah, about that? He did. Yes, he did he pretty did. well. The Honey he Badger did. is back. <laughs> he did. I was kind of disappointed to see, like Lando was bitching about pit strategy. Like, well, the fuck do you have me out here? And then he's like, oh, yeah, it was a great strategy. Then the race is like, except stroll and fucking Vettel went like 73 laps without pitting. Yeah. Like, on hard tires to start. And then I went to mediums. But yeah, I'm glad to see uh, Ricardo finally find some pace and actually drive. Well, he's also he needs to get some damn points. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right, but that's... do we do we know of any other uh, <clears throat> contracts that have been inked so the besides con- no, Ocon? Ocon's and... the only one. Um, of all the people, you sign him for fucking three I years. Hate, I hate him. He's such a little beta bitch. Like, look at him <clears> walk <throat> around the pits. Like, he walks, like, with his, like, hunchback, like, I'm, he's French, so it makes sense. He walks like a hunchback Notre Dame, Notre Dame, but he's such a beta. Like, Hi guys, how are you? When is Kenny like, Raikkonen gonna retire? I feel like he's old as fuck. Too. He's gonna so too. there, there will be an open spot at Alpha, Alpha Romeo, right? Alpha who's Romeo. the other? Who's the I other one? Alonso's gonna retire. Is it Latifi or Mazar? Who's who's the other Romeo? Uh, uh it's Giovanni. Giovanni. Oh, bad fuck. Get rid of him. Yeah, he's actually pointless. not bad. He's pointless. But, uh, um. Dean or Austin, I think you guys need to start watching these races so we can talk about it. So I haven't watched any of the live races since uh, what was the huge Monaco? one? No, Monaco. Monaco. I haven't watched since then, and I'm just on the last episode of mm-hmm. season one. So I tried to be fair. I did try to watch this race this weekend, but um, we were at um, our lake house for Father's Day weekend, and we don't get ESPN there. Yeah. So I will get say, cable. so the I think Hamilton will be there next year, and you'll have Hamilton and George Russell. You know, Valtteri and Latifi and Williams, they're going to sign Checo again for another year. There's no reason you don't bring Checo back for another year. He's, he's, he's too good of a contract. teammate. He, yeah, you have to have Checo back. So there's three teams. There's Haas is a fucking Ferrari, dumpster Ferrari's, fire. Ferrari, set, Ferrari set, yeah. yeah. Haas is a goddamn dumpster fire. You've got the Russian of They need to get rid of this. so terrible. Team. No, like Mazepin is like fucking he's like useless. body checking people in his car as they're coming like trying to pass him he's like he's a fucking kind of crazy funny, he's like he's like my dad is russian oligarch i don't give a fuck kgb come kill you well, like that's how he fucking drives and then schumacher just can't go anywhere did you did you see the uh, on f1 their uh instagram where vettel like come up and checked his car cockpit out <laughs> after the race like inspected it no. they called him inspector vettel you had to look it up like i guess so vettel is basically schumacher's a mentor because Vettel raced uh, with Schumacher's dad when they were at Red Bull when when Vettel won well, all the championships. Yeah. So yeah. they called Inspector Vettel or Inspector Seb, that's what it was. But Inspector you'll Seb. have you'll have Vettel and Stroll at Aston Martin next year. I think there's an open speed at Alpine, open spot at Alpine. You'll have Kimi Raikkonen retire. You'll have an open spot at Alfa Romeo. And then I don't think Alfa Tori changes with Gasly and Sonoda. That's not going to change. And um, that's about it. So well, and then if, if uh, Williams, if, if Russell goes to Russell's going to go to Mercedes and then Valtteri's going to go to Williams, that's going to be his flop. I guarantee it. The thing is, next to... year, though, he would not accept that. Here, let me go to Williams. Um, he's going to still be racing F1 and getting a paycheck. I guarantee you another team picks him up before he goes. Look to at Williams. Kimi Raikkonen. I mean, he's fucking driving for Alfa Romeo and he was for Ferrari at one point. Yeah, okay. Well, uh he's also been doing this for 25 fucking years. Both has, has doing I mean this for 8. Okay. He eight, was at Williams 25. before he was at Mercedes. Yeah, you don't go back to Williams. You don't but go next back year. I think it changes though with like the salary cap though. That's going to change mm, next year. I don't know if it'll change next year just because of 
the comments you made. Yeah. They're putting their money in this year for next year. Yeah. So it takes two years. It's okay. They're going to cheat anyways. Yeah. Total Wolf will will cheat, but. Yeah. Yeah, He's a handsome motherfucker. I'll tell you that. Yeah. There's a picture of like him walking next to Christian Horner. And Christian Horner's like 5'7", and Total Wolf 6'5". It's hilarious to see those two next to each other. Dude, those guys, I would love to like sit down and just have a beer with those two motherfuckers. I need to like one on one side, one on the other, and just like, yeah. just listen at them go at each other. You know what? And, not even and not even spies, under the just table. Sit there and listen to those two guys talk. Yeah, I think it's like they respect each other because they respect their competition. Like they they can still like be respectfully. They're not, they don't fucking hate each other. You figure but. when when Total came in with with Mercedes that Christian and Red Bull was the team to beat. Yeah, yeah. They had a picture four, on four in a row. Yeah. They had a picture on, I don't know if it was on uh, Christian on their Horner's Instagram. Instagram or whoever, yeah. but I Christian Horner had some pretty nasty teeth back in the day. If you look at oh, that yeah. picture. Oh, yeah. G- it's up, a ginger spice straight up, money. Straight up English teeth is what he had. But yeah, it's, it's actually cool money. to read some of the Wikipedias, like how Toto got in the position he's in, because Toto actually owns part of Williams Racing. Does he yeah. Mean Mercedes? Yeah, he's yeah. like one no, of No, no. Toto owns part of Williams Racing. I mean, he has he a owns, stake in, in Mercedes. He owns well. 33 Also owns part of Williams Racing. Okay, well, that's, I mean, so, yeah. so does Mercedes. So I guess that would make yeah, sense. No, but I mean, yeah, but like they pretty sure Horner has a stake in Red Bull as well. Oh, yeah, I'm sure so. he does at this point. But so there as you long go. as Renault doesn't come back, that's Well, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's Alpine, Alpine, though. That's Alpine. Yeah, but they got, it's, they, they, changed, house. It's like they putting... changed house. Renault has, uh, Renault had a shit car. It's not just a rebrand. Like they That's changed is, a lot rebrand. of shit. I, I understand that, but it's like we didn't just rebrand and keep the same car. Yeah, they got no massive sponsors, more money, different shit. Yeah. So there's your F1 talk for the week. Dean, you want to take us out? Slow uh, banger. banger. We're not yeah, making picks. I got mine ready to step. Dave Matthews. We already bet. made our picks, Dean. For the no. slew banger? Not the slew banger. I thought you make the uh come down. <laughs> Anderson Pack. I everybody, am. everybody better slow down, or else these picks are not going to be added to the playlist because it's John Chucker. I am a, in Discordia. Discordia. I'm going with Santana and Michelle Branch. Are you fucking kidding me? Banger of a song. The I think game I was of love. Pretty sure I was dancing to that song too. Okay, what was yours, Tom? Doc, Dis- oh, two step Dave Matthews band. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, John, you didn't like my pick? No, I, I didn't say I didn't like it. You just that said, was... are you kidding me? No, I just it was a joking, like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? Like, haha, funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Dean, what you got? Starlight by Muse. Solid song. I love me some Muse. This and I know my pick right away. Okay. Didn't mean to play. Fucking quit playing the song. God damn it. We're going to get docked. Who's playing it? I John Button. And then my pick is. Uh, where's it at here? Shine by Mondo Cosmo. The song I used to listen to in college. <laughs> no, you know the song. We were at the bar at Kelly's and I'm like, what is this song? Going to get high. Going to get. You know, that's what you're talking about. Just play. Bar at Kelly's. If you're talking about Kelly's Cantina? Island, I don't remember oh, any of no, that. No, but where we got the Brandy Alexanders. Oh. oh, you mean the, the cup full right? of death? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> the shot who got the floaters? The floaters? Like I did. Everyone did. Everyone. I terrible, the song, terrible, right? terrible, terrible, terrible. I was scoping out the bathroom because I got such bad brain freeze. I thought I was gonna puke everywhere. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucked. I was like, and I'm in the back of the corner. I go, you guys are just gonna get puke everywhere. My brain oh was. My gosh. Yeah, the bourbon floater in the yeah. Brandy Alexander was a terrible fucking idea. Delicious. You're welcome. Dumb. Thanks, Chris. Delicious. Dumb fucking Thanks, All right, Chris. Dean, take us out. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for listening to another week's episode. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the uh, U.S. Open recap, the trip to the beautiful state of Ohio, and the boys' chat about F1. Um, I don't think we have any plans to be taking any more weeks off because. I don't believe any of us are really traveling. Other Depends than on how I feel. <clears throat> um, so hopefully next week we will see you guys same time uh, with some good stories. Hopefully we're play- getting out and playing some golf this weekend. Uh, but if not, right. we will uh, 
Just sure we'll bring something. Goodbye. Bye. Later.